Hi guys, welcome to another video. Hi guys, welcome to another. <laughs> Welcome to yet another episode of Real Talks with Amaka, and my name is T Amaka Uba. <laughs> so today, guys, I am going to be talking on a post I saw online. I find it, I find it very weird and funny and pain at the same time because we are talking about money. Yeah, it's not a smart thing. It is not a smart thing. So um, this post was actually on couples therapies therapies the person was only people are always seeking for advice i don't even know why people always seek for advice me if i want to do something i'll just do it i don't care what any other any other person thinks i mean <laughs> i mean <laughs> oh, i'm not in the situation with anybody it is only me alone that is inside the situation so i don't care i'm just going to do what works for me i'm going to just read this story right now um hello house please okay the topic is my husband gave me an automatum ultimatum auto automatum <laughs> my husband gave me an automatum to quit my my job hello house please look into my issue advise me sincerely i'm 38 years old i'm 38 years old lady married for three years with a child boy i started working for my boss when i was 16 years old 16 16 years old i just came out from secondary school it was a new company and i was among the first set of workers at a point my boss couldn't pay workers and everybody resigned i was working without salary to cut the long this, this story short later the company started picking up and my boss doesn't joke with me he said i made the company his company what it is today he sent me abroad to study related course and promoted me to his personal assistant i can make decision in the company without consulting him and he will be okay with it before you see him you must go through me it's an oil company when he bought a new car he dashed me his old his old one i am the highest paid worker he placed me high above any other worker and I don't take this for grant granted. He got married and his wife is simply the best. She's treating me like a sister. We travel, we travel together and shop together. You won't even know that she's my boss. I got married to my husband and it has been a long distance relationship. My salary is 10 times 10 of my husband's own. I didn't add the daily benefits, which is even more than my salary at the end of the month. My husband said he's tired of not having his complete family with him, that I should resign. We have been settling this matter since last year. My boss and his wife already, is already missing me. They say I know a lot about the company. They offered to give my husband a job that is times two of his present salary so that he can relocate from Abuja to worry. But Hobby, Hobby refused. I gave my husband 45 million naira when he wanted to open an automobile workshop and I was expecting him to come down and open in Delta, but he opened in Abuja. When he when he's saying we are rich now he's saying we are rich that i should resign i involved my pastor and both families they are all supporting him my mom is of the opinion that distance can make him start cheating that i should not allow my marriage to deteriorate to that level pastor pastor is saying that a woman should be submissive oh god this submission what it will cause in this life ct apart from my salary i feel my boss will feel bad living even though he is not showing it, he said it is my family. He has no right to interfere. Any decision, any decision I come up with, he is in support. My husband gave me to end of May. 
If not, he, may, he will divorce me and get married to a woman that will choose family over money. Please help me. My brain is blank. I see this a lot, where a lot of women have to give up their dreams, their careers, and um, their ambitions their, for marriage, for a man. And honestly, it is totally, honestly painful because there is nothing in act here except from the male ego it is strictly the male ego that is functioning here because i don't know how you are going to tell a woman to resign from her job to come over to meet you when initially you were not doing anything zero it's not like you you had a job there or it's not like the job was even paying you that much and you asked her to resign you're asking her to resign to come over to that place to meet you you see the reason why i don't even i don't i don't take long distance relationships well, i don't even try long distance relationship if i the two times that i've tried it i will end it immediately by myself because i didn't make coco i don't get straight for talk this is the problem i always have because they will expect you to leave all the things that you want to do not that you're doing it willingly but you're being coerced into doing it they expect you to leave everything and then come with them it's not a bad thing to leave everything and then follow your follow your husband but the problem is that is that what she really wants is that what you really want she should have i feel like she, at one point she should have considered this there's there are men around men around you and probably the man might have even pretended that when she met i don't even trust humans to that extent of saying that okay um let me just go let me just date him probably he will come around this man obviously did not have anything serious that he was doing in abuja but he refused to come down to worry to stay with his wife i i don't get it the, the only thing that is that is as in better than money in a marriage is m more money yes uncle and see more money more money you want this woman to go and start a life all over again and to think that this man gave this woman gave you 45 million naira to come to open an automobile shop in worry and you opened it in abuja hmm. and you are giving her ultimatum or whatever what they call that stuff to either come to Abuja or you quit the marriage or get sent back at 45 million your head no sweep grand you no know hits grand your head you no know knock head for grand send back at 45 million if you're really going to give that kind of ultimatum send it back to her this is just the male ego in play here yeah. There is nothing you can tell me. Honestly, some men are like this. I'm the man of the house. You have to follow me. Some men have these beliefs. They have this belief. You have to do what I have to do. You have to, I have to take the lead. I have to kiniko kiniko. When the woman literally, 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 absolutely, literally made you what you are. You're giving her this ultimatum. And the funny thing is that you don't even really know this person because it's a long distance marriage. You've not really lived with this person. You don't even know if when you leave your job and go and live with this man, if you're going to use your eyes, you use your eyes to see your ears. Your your eyes are going to see your ears. That's what Africa Nigerians say call it. Say like when you know when the eyes is <laughs> my eyes are. I'm, I'm, I'm just, this quote just reminded me of all those Nollywood elders with their cap and everything. <laughs> so their eyes have seen their ears you're going to use your eyes to see your ears because the eyes have never seen the ears just in reflection of mirrors so you you're going to use a, you're going to like be shocked that this person is not someone you can live with this is not the kind of marriage you want and then you've lost your job and you probably can't go back to the job this is really a tough one because honestly ah. I, if i'm the one i'm not going anywhere i'm sorry i'm like i said i'm only giving my opinion yeah you must not take it i'm saying what i would do if i am in that situation 
not like i can really relate because i am actually not in that situation but i'm saying what i would do i would not leave my job to go and marry you i'm sorry uncle this is why you need to lay down ground rules if it means writing it down get a lawyer write it and sign you should have told him that you can't leave um worry and you ask him is it really to relocate down to worry um worry if he had said no don't say eh, we'll work it out we'll cross that bridge i hate that statement when we get to that bridge you will cross it oh god let's address this thing na 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 no that when we get to that bridge it's not causing issues but it's too late let us address it na 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 be telling me your mind na 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 don't pretend don't hide don't package it don't tell me when we get to that bridge we'll cross it no i want to cross the bridge now that is the reason why i'm always this kind of person tell me tell me what you feel what do you think and honestly i don't feel like another reason why i don't really do long distance because i don't i don't want people i don't expect people to do something that i'm not willing to do so i don't even bother with that long distance relationship at all especially if i know that okay it, especially since the age i since the time i got i i since the time um since when i got to the particular stage in my life where i feel like okay i just i don't want to date people for fun i i want to date someone because i i'll probably i'll probably end up with this person in future it doesn't always work out like that though but i'm not just dating this person for dating sake i'm just i'm dating this person to see if we can actually settle around together and stuff like that since i got to that age not like i even used to do long distance relationship before but since i got to that stage rather i stopped i stopped any long distance relationship because i can't deal i i don't want you to i i can't expect you or co uh, compel you to move down to where i am and i also do not want you to expect me to come down to where you are because honestly leaving your base where you are and starting life all over again if it's you guys are not starting all over again together that one is another thing entirely nobody has the higher power uh, this one, nobody has, has the higher power all of you both of you are in it together but in a situation whereby you are particularly except you except for ladies or for men that do not actually have anything they do not have anything to lose they are initially ready to actually move uh -huh. that one is not a problem but some people you 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 compel somebody live your life live your um, your job live everything and then you go over there sometimes it doesn't work out it doesn't work out you go there and you, you it's something else i see uh, i take risks in life oh, but there are some kind of risks me i don't take i'm like no 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 i'm not going to take those risks so most times mm, long as a relationship once you are aware in shokoloko bango she uncle we cannot work i'm sorry i cannot continue this relationship it might hurt the other person or you might even be, be pained because you actually like the person but at the end of the day sometimes it is worth it it self, it saves you stress it will actually save you stress later in life I mean, uh, there was one time I was in a relationship and it was long distance, long distance. And I was trying and, str and trying and trying and trying. And this person initially was talking about, oh, I wouldn't mind coming back and you know, coming down to where you are and stuff like that. And then, and then when I noticed that, okay, I was trying to, okay, when are you coming now? When are you going to move? Say, so, I'm like, I'm, 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 I actually want to leave this place. I was I actually continued in the relationship and then when i found out that this person is not willing to move and sometimes it will be like hey and uh, when are you even going to move down to here and you started like i was like ah, uncle 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 i'm sorry this is not what we discuss you say you're going to come down to this place that i'm not going to come down to this place go down to that place and um are you changing your mind this is where communication comes in and i found that this person is actually changing and is not ready to move down to the place i am and me i'm not ready to move down to the place it is and then i had to call up the relationship because i did not see any future in it i'm not going to do my mind did not carry me i'm not going to do mm, let's just see um, let's just see we're going to just do it like that no i don't take risk like that i don't take risk like that so i 
I'm sorry, mommy. I don't have any advice for you. Me, my advice is bad advice. I'll tell you not to go. And the man is going to divorce you and marry another woman. And then you now lose your 45 million. There. But even if it's going to divorce you, make sure you collect your money, ma. <laughs> I'm going to go to the comment section to see if there is actually anybody who has an advice for her. Me, sometimes I don't have advice for her. My advice is always bad advice. So let me just... Let me go to people that are older than us and smarter than us. Okay, this is the comment section. Okay. There's this advice I saw here, a comment I saw here that I love so much, and that is the only comment I'm commenting on. My problem with this marriage is that you have not lived with this man before, this man to even know him better. You met him poor and made him rich. That is the point. A man's real attitude manifests fully when he's in money. I would suggest you enter into agreement with your boss to give you six months leave with no pay to enable, to enable you go and study that your husband first. Do not let your husband know that you have an option to go back to your former job. Within six months, you will use it to study him. You will use it to study him, jump, job hunt, and see how life look over, like over there. While at it, keep close contact with your boss. Your boss can never say no to this request. This will help you in case you find out that a guy is one year man then you will, will be lucky to fall back on your job but if you find another job and your marriage is good then you can stay with your husband never you abandon your job for a man if you must do it inspire ensure you have a plan b on the side good luck this is brilliant this person is actually very very smart gina bobby abby gina whatever your name is i love you you you're very smart you just give this woman a very good solution very smart very brilliant as in you you are able to like you were so diplomatic about it i think this is the best option that this woman has because me i would i might not even take this um, fine girl's advice advice because except 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 i will not even be in the situation in the first place because me i will not do long distance marriage <laughs> well the thing is never say never you don't know where life is going to throw you into never say never but I'm saying never to this one, Sha. So, guys, I'm coming to the end of the video today. Please make sure you like and share my video, comment, and also subscribe to, and subscribe to my channel. Please turn off the. <laughs> Please turn on the notification bell. Know that I love you guys, and it's always wonderful having you guys here. Bye.